Um, this is going to be a quick um, compare and contrast of the two mechanical pencils that I own and um, their pluses and minuses. Um, I sort of got into this. Um, I mean, I'm not a collector, but, you know, YouTube and everybody posting videos and yada, yada, yada. Uh, there was... The, the the mechanical pencil that I've used in the past consistently is Pentel's Quicker Clicker in the 0.7 millimeter size lead. Uh, but I recently picked up uh, what's called a tool, a tool, T-U, with a this little thing on top of the U is called a Macron, a tool. They come in packs of two. I bought this at Office Depot for $6.95. It was on sale, typically like 10 or 11 bucks. And of course, each of these packs, they come two, two pen, mechanical pencils to a pack, um, and so on and so forth. There's pluses and minuses to both, but when it comes to writing, um, even though I, I, I think the world of the Quicker Clicker, the Quicker Clicker is God's gift to mechanical pencils. Forget this nonsense about, you know, buying the uh, road ring or the, you know, all these other weird, you know, mechanical pencils with the tricks and what whatnot. Mechanical pencil is a mechanical pencil, okay? I mean, that's, that's it. We're done. I mean, unless you're a draftsman and you got something special needs, if you just want a pencil, you know, you get a mechanical pencil because it makes sense, and you're not constantly... You know, like, for example, these Bix that I bought, uh, there was a box of 24 that I bought at Walgreens for, like, two bucks. You know, I mean, once once the the um, once the once uh, ink is gone, okay, here's a big, soft, feel, medium. So, I mean, once the ink is gone, there's no, really no refill for this, or if you even get it open. And then you throw it away, and to me, that's always been wasteful. Plus... My preference in pens, I mean, I know I'm, I'm going off to the side for a second, but my preference in pens is the gel pen. So for like, for example, Uniball gel pens. But when, when the paper gets wet, that ink bleeds, okay? So for a number of reasons, I started using this Quicker Clicker. My last one lasted me like 20 years, okay? The, I mean, Pentel makes superb products. And the Quicker Clicker, the reason that I liked it was because when I write with a mechanical pencil and I got to get more um, lead out because I've used the lead up, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this with my thumb. I this this feels uncomfortable doing this. Okay, I mean I know when you click a pen on and off you're doing this, but when you're constantly trying to get more more pencil lead out, I don't like doing this. What I like is the si the uh, side advance. Okay, I love this. Because while I'm writing, it takes, like, literally no motion whatsoever to advance the lead, okay? So the Quicker Clicker was, like, my mechanical pencil, okay? Affordable, you know, had the side, uh, the, the, the side uh, uh, advance. Uh, you know, these, these pocket clips um, can take them or leave them. I mean, they're nice if you have a clipboard, okay? The problem that I have with this with a quicker clicker is that I try not to use the eraser because what happens is that as you use the eraser you put pressure on the ferrule which is this metal protector and what happens is it becomes distorted and then this thing won't seal up and you got to bear with me because I'm, I'm holding the camera with one one hand so you know you're trying to cap this back in or the, or the lead will fall out now actually another good thing about the quicker clicker is that it's got this um see-through top you can see if you have any lead left uh but you know you know i'm reading in bed and then i use my mechanical pencil or a pen or whatever to sort of help me read uh you know to, so I, I don't stop or dilly dally and um uh you know this top which i am having some trouble getting on this top basically falls out okay it falls out and then all the leads come out and i got to find these leads are on my bed uh, and that's annoying. That is terribly annoying. Um, here's an original. This is this is the uh, the mate. This one that came in the package. You know, as you can see, it's got this nice cap, which you're going to lose, and it's got the original eraser, which is you can buy replacements for the eraser and also the ferrule, this metal piece that sort of keeps it in place. But that's sort of a pain. That's sort of a pain. But given all that, I love the slide advance. I love that you can see. 
how much lead you've got left. It's got the eraser in case you need it. You shouldn't use an eraser from a mechanical pencil because this happens. Okay? All right. So, I'm watching videos on YouTube and this and that, and, you know, there's guys like Clutch Situation and all these other guys. Okay, see? You lose this guy. This guy just rolls around and you lose him. So they've got, you know, collections and they're hobbyists and yada, 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 and they're reviewing all these pencils. Um, but I wasn't able to find a review of this guy. Now, this guy, this tool, I believe that's how it's pronounced, T-U-L, this tool mechanical pencil, what interested me about this is the fact that it had something called a patented semi-automatic lead advancement. And what that means is that as you're writing, it pushes the lead out. So you're not constantly having to advance the uh, lead. Uh, not only that, but it, it has a couple of unique features at the um, at the point. One is that it's got a bit of a it's got a bit of a shock absorber. Okay, so as I'm writing, you know, if I push a little bit, I can feel I can feel. I think you can even see this. I can feel. See, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in. I got a little bit of a shock absorber. Not only that, but this guy up in front. If you want to put this in your pocket or someplace. This guy up in front, the, uh, the protector of the lead, you can push it back. Now, the problem is that, you know, now i got this lead exposed. And the only way to get, to get rid of that is either to, to uh, snap this extra lead off, or you go and you use your thumb and you push down once, and you get this protector, the protective sleeve, back in. But this point, this point, manually, if you wanted to put this in your pocket or something, you could push this back with your thumb. Now, I tried unscrewing this. I tried unscrewing this, and the, this mechanism won't come out all the way. It'll come out maybe half an inch, and you see it's plastic. But I pushed it back in. I didn't want to destroy the pencil. Now, um, it's a, it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit thicker than the quicker clicker. Okay, but I got used to that. The surface it's got a nice it's got a nice rubbery kind of a, of a just enough rubber to be sticky feel. Uh, and as you can see, I've sort of used this for a couple weeks now. Um, it's got the, uh, the pocket clip, okay, tool. Now this, th there's no window here, so I can't tell when I'm running down on lead, and I can't put as many leads in a tool as I can in my quicker clicker. I mean, I can, I can jam this so, so much full of lead, um, I can go weeks without worrying about having to refill this, okay? And, you know, you refill this by popping the uh, eraser out, and you dump them in, and you close the eraser back up, and you're done. And the same thing with this guy here. Now, this guy, the tool, what you do is, and I, this, this felt sort of wrong, like I was going to break something when I first did it, but what you do is you simply just you push it up. You push it up, okay? And this is what comes out. So you, you put the, uh, the lead in here, and there aren't, there's not that much lead you can put in, maybe two or three or four tops. And then you simply... Again, pardon me, I'm doing this with one hand. And then you've got you've to push down with your thumb to lock it. I mean, not lock it, but, you know, to properly close it. But now, of course, you know, I've pushed the, uh, the lead out a little bit more, which is going to be useless. Um, the eraser, the eraser, you can pull the eraser out. It's three centimeters long. Three centimeters long, half a centimeter in diameter. You can buy replacements. This is a good thing, and it's, you can advance this by screwing... By, by screwing the top, you advance the eraser. Very good. And they give you enough eraser as opposed to the quicker clicker, which will give you just this little this little nub. Basically, it's with the quicker clicker, you just get this little... Oops, see? Oh, oh, that's the one problem with the, the Pentel quicker clicker. This, this thing, here's the eraser. Here's the extent of it. You can buy replacement erasers. You can buy a uh, package that have the erasers and the ferrule to keep it in place. But uh, seriously, it, uh, you know, you know, this is what happens if you use the eraser a lot. Basically, you know, you have to take a trade-off between actually having this and having your, your leads pop out. And, you know, this thing you're going to lose, okay? So the bottom line, and actually, let me, so let, me, let me just show you this. Let me show you this. Okay, so, oops, oh, it popped. So, so I'm going to click it once. It advanced just a little bit. And then you go, oops. And I can keep going until this pencil lead is basically exhausted. So no side clicker even needed. It's advancing the lead as I write.
it's advancing the letters I write. Now, when it gets to the point, like, you know, and I said this thing has a, uh, this thing has a um, shock absorber bit. It has a bit of a shock absorber, no worries, which is good because I tend to be a little bit rough on my, uh, when I write, and, it, you know, I'll, I'll get that snap. But uh, this is good. This, I mean, it's not a uni, a uni Kurotoga, so you don't have this weird mechanism that rotates the lead, but this is fine. This is, I mean, I'm not rotating the lead here. I'm not rotating the lead here. But that, that semi, what do they call it? Semi-automatic lead advancement. It's working. And if I had to, it's just a simple click, rotate, which I didn't really need. I mean, this is fine. This is fine. I like this. Uh, there's really, you're going to laugh now. You're going to laugh. I do have one sort of, not a complaint, but sort of like a something that makes me go, hmm. And that is that when I read uh, an ebook on my tablet, you know, on a tablet, you can use your finger to slide to the next page, et cetera, et cetera, to, you know, to proceed as you read. What I typically do when I read is I have a pen, a, I sort of have a pen or a mechanical pencil or something, and I sort of like, uh, I go down the line, down the, down each line of the page to sort of help me, you know, keep pace and I don't, my mind doesn't, doesn't wander. The tool mechanical pencil, now you're going to laugh at this, but it's got some kind of capacitative touch. So if I'm reading on, on my tablet and I do this, whoops, it, see that? It just changed the page. Oops, not supposed to do that. When I have when I have my my uh, big pen, nothing. When I have my quicker clicker, nothing. When I have the tool mechanical pencil, oops. Come on, there you go. Oh, I went the other way. Nope. Okay, there you go. So that is a bit of a that is a bit of a I don't know. I mean. I don't really like it, and I can't read, obviously, on a tablet, because, you know, when I read, you know, I'll do something like, I'll do this to sort of keep me going, so I don't lose my place, and then I'm, I'm sort of reading and not dawdling, but you can't, so you got to be careful, because there's some kind of a capacitative uh, connect between your hand and the tool mechanical pencil and your tablet, so the bottom line is that, I mean, I love the quicker clicker. And I, and I loved it because I don't like doing this all the time with my thumb. I prefer the slide advance. I can see how much I how much lead I've got. Uh, it's a good pencil. I mean, there's no shock absorber in the quicker, quicker clicker. And I, you know, on, on occasion when I write really hard, the lead will snap, but no big deal. You click and you're done. Uh, I like it. I think the quicker clicker. If if mechanical pencil technology stopped here. As far as I'm concerned, no problemo. It would be fine. But then you've got, you know, companies like Uniball with the Uni Kurotoga and now Tool with this uh, patented semi-automatic lead advancement. Um, it's got the cushion point, prevents lead breakage, balanced. And I mean, it is balanced. It's a nice pen. Soft, uh, uh, non-slip grip. With the twist-up eraser. I like the 0.7 millimeter. This is also available in the 0.5. Um, this is what I use when I take notes. When I take notes or I want to write stuff to do, I've defaulted to the tool. Now, I think 